Star Wars meets Halo in Republic Commando. Plus, sharing the love in Iron Phoenix. And the world doesn't want a polygonal David Caruso, but we got one anyway. Check it out. In CSI Miami, the game, that's gross. It's game time. Please welcome some people I am totally tired of introducing. Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. And I'm tired of saying hello and welcome to X-Play. On today's show, what's creepier than David Caruso saying, I'm the Fiber King on CSI Miami? Him saying it in a video game. Yeah. And we also have a review of David at the time I thought Jade was a great career move Caruso in CSI Miami, the game. Plus, hot dragon on human combat in Eye of the Dragon, with an eye. See, it's a pun. So clever. Oh. <laughs> and Suikoden 4, it hits the PS2. Now, does it measure up to the other now classic Suikoden games? Don't be shocked, but we're going to tell you. Plus, an online fighting game for the Xbox. And later in the show, a game we're very excited to get our little hands on. Imagine Metroid Prime crossed with Rainbow Six and set in the Star Wars universe. And then you get Star Wars Republic Commando. If you ever wanted to play as a clone trooper, now's your chance. But we start the show with our review of CSI Miami, because all crime shows eventually wind up as mediocre PC games. Miami, it's not just the home of the sun-kissed, browned bottoms of the rich and rhythmic. No, apparently it's also the home of a collection of crime scene creating ne'er-do-wells who have it in for some guy named Vic. Got a Vic out at Palm Glen Country Club, or a piece of our Vic. The CSI show spreads the idea of crime as a thinking person sport out across the nation like Krispy Kreme franchises. CSI Miami is, of course, the same brand of monster corpse garage as the other cities in the series. The crime scene and lab contain your parts and workbench, where you'll assemble a tire squealing airtight case for the prosecution. So, somebody's finally given us a hand in this case. Dusters, sprays, gels, magnifying glasses, tweezers, and lights make crime scene collection a truly tedious affair. The game, as well as the actual job, of course lack that trademark Jerry Bruckheimer overemphasis on production values. Percussive editing techniques. Nope. Beautiful heat-soaked fluorine environments. Not so much. Not that I've ever been Tim's sole biological interest. Accurately animated facial characteristics of favorite figures. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, not really here either. You'll start your journey through the lower depths of the human animal with a senseless murder of an alligator. Who could have done this horrible act against nature? At least they could have used it for shoes. No, no, it's this guy, or this honey-baked ham. Once you've found what remains of Mr. Vic, you're off to find the Easter eggs of complicity laying around the greater Miami area. As you can see, the locations are a wonderland of evidence gathering. If you're not diligent, your pals at the lab will wise-ass you back to the original crime scene until you've gathered all the evidence from a given location. I vote for cocaine. Don't know nothing about that, bro. Interviewing possible pervs will lead you to believe they're all freaking guilty. Is it a crime to be discreet? To choose not to air your dirty laundry? Evidence, interviews, and tedious tidbit collection will finally begin to tighten the noose around the neck of the guilty. Don't know nothing about that, bro. Little bits of plastic can offer insights into teen seduction by male-voiced mothers. My weakness in taking that boy Russ into my arms. Whoa, Nelly. In the lab, there are the requisite microscopes and fingerprint matching databases. And DNA. Hard to escape the truth of DNA. Unless, of course, you live in Texas. Damn. The game even has those trademark fantastic voyages into the body. Stimulants like cocaine get absorbed in the bloodstream and block the reuptake of dopamine. Bro. Locating perps can also lead you to the darndest places. Mmm, we'd like to know your whereabouts on Friday, please. When interviews and clues begin pointing in a certain direction, you'll ask the resident detective for warrants. Let's bounce the bouncer into our world. You've still got a good swing. Especially with a readily available weapon like a golf club. Don't know nothing about that, bro. Apparently, there's not much crime in Dade County because the game only has five cases to solve. Voice acting is real. Check it out. And the game attempts to faithfully capture the scientific crime-fighting process. The part that's really freaking boring, that is. We give it a two. I vote for cocaine. Out of five. We were 
big fans of the original CSI game or the Law & Order PC games. But if you like the show or have a weird David Caruso fetish, oh. maybe this one's for you. I suggest that instead of a PC game, they make a CSI Miami drinking game. Yes. You drink every time the medical examiner has a conversation with the corpse in which he says, poor baby, what happened to you? You drink every time they show the blonde ballistics expert firing guns and a little strappy tank top. You drink every time Caruso puts his hands on his hips and just stands there looking creepy. You know, you need to have to drink every time a large animal eats a gunshot victim. I'm not kidding. So far in that show, gunshot victims have been eaten by gators, sharks, and a giant anaconda. Of course, they still haven't written a show where someone was eaten by a dragon. But they made a game about it. Here's Eye of the Dragon. It's had to defend their villages from the bloodthirsty monsters that roam. What lies in the heart of a dragon? What dreams and desires? As they soar through the air with such grace, what thoughts do they have of mankind? Can we ever know the feeling of these majestic creatures? Welcome to an exciting new world in Eye of the Dragon. Where one dragon raised by humans can teach us all how to live. <laughs> Who wouldn't want to be a dragon? Now, we all have that chance, and you can tell Anne McCaffrey to suck it, because your dragons are going to be badass. <laughs> now, if only you could get them to do anything. Dragon honey, did you take out the trash? I'll do it later. Jeez, close the door. In a really bad opening movie, we learned that humans and dragons used to play together. But then the humans made Varsity Wizard Team or too cool for the big dumb lizards. Ironically, the team mascot was a dragon. I'm not going out there. All the kids laugh at me. No, they don't, honey. They laugh with you. But I'm not laughing. Soon, the humans realized that they needed the dragons because orcs started attacking or something. So they saved one egg and have been training it secretly with government flying spy carpets. It's here that you'll learn how to manage your dragon with an interface that requires you to know advanced calculus to operate. Once you've made your way out of training mode, you can do much of the same in the real world. Boy, sure is exciting. Yep. As the humans use you to do their dirty work, you'll get tired with the repetitive nature of the game. There's only so many times you can shoot flames at whatever these things are. You just keep waiting for the moment when you can start eating your human friends. I think I just killed a monkey. Overall, the game is a piece of dragon poop. You can't control your dragon. The interface is impenetrable. The story is worse than Dragonheart. Scarborough, the Lord of Darkness, was banished to the eternal void. And they call it Eye of the Dragon, with an eye. That is just plain stupid. But there is one nice thing, eating. <laughs> Eye of the Dragon gets a two out of five. Um, Dragon Honey, could you... Ah! Mm, our ex-play Foley artists have been going crazy with the fart sounds lately. Farts are funny. How old are you? Old enough to know that farts are funny. I quit now. Fart. Coming up, because you have nothing better to do, it's Swigadin 4. I wish that days like this could just go on forever. So you back on the block, huh? Yeah, yeah, it's good to see you back. Theft Auto, San Andreas. Out now on PlayStation 2. Rated M for Mature. Pookie Pie. Do I look fat in these? Hmm? Hmm? Need a moment? When you need a moment, chew it over with Twix.
the 2005 Scion 2C with 160 horsepower, pairing a moonroof, and the opportunity to personalize. The Netscape internet service lets me choose if I want to have their unlimited access for just $9.95. So does Net Zero. And Netscape lets me have Web Accelerator for free with their $9.95 plan. Net Zero charges $14.95 for their service with Web Accelerator. What do you get with Net Zero? I'm a Netscape guy. Right now, Netscape gives you free Web Accelerator to surf up to five times faster. Net Zero charges $14.95. That's over 50% more. Get Netscape for $9.95. And if you sign up now, get a one-month free trial. Thanks to our 555 deal, that's three pizzas for just five bucks each. Everyone can get exactly what they want. It's changing the way people order pizza. Three pizzas with whatever I want. If I want olive, I can order olive. If I want pineapple, I can order pineapple. But you order three pepperoni. I feel change. Domino's 555 deal is back. Buy three or more medium one-topping pizzas and they're all just five bucks each. Get the door. It's the 555 deal. I want to know all about arthritis medication. Don't ask Santa. Ask Jeeves and get what you're searching for. Welcome to the most brutal time in history. There is no remorse, no compassion. Caesar has been murdered. Ancient Rome is in chaos. And a gladiator's greatest fight will be for the ultimate truth. Let's go! Die! Shadow of Rome, exclusively for PlayStation 2. Rated M for Mature, only from Capcom. You found the G-Spot. Icons is coming up next. I just don't care about Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. Right back at ya. We return with the latest Suikoden game. This classic RPG franchise reached its peak with a Suikoden 2 game for the PS1, which is considered one of the best RPGs of the 32-bit era. And good luck tracking it down, because if you're lucky enough to find it on eBay, it will cost you upwards of a hundred bucks. Well, now there's a new chapter in the Suikoden saga, and uh, we have a review. Here's Suikoden 4 for the PS2. I just love old newsreel footage of medieval times. The fourth installment of the always excellent Suikoden series has a few surprises in store for fans of the franchise. Foremost among them, it's really not all that good. Suikoden 4 takes place a century before the previous three. Gone is the Trinity site multi-storyline system from 3. Returned is the single hero central to the tale. You play a newly minted knight of the seafaring Gaian nation. Congratulations, graduates! Our hero is the quiet type, preferring to gesticulate wildly instead of just speaking his damn mind. <laughs> you don't have to be so humble. I know this is meant to help the player bond with the blank slate of the main character, but it's really hard to identify with someone who runs like that. The goofball. All seems idyllic and hopeful as the young wannabe warriors complete their ritualistic graduation ceremony. Snow Vingerhut, first son of Vincent, lord of the village of Rosaril. This year, I shall conduct the kindling. Vingerhut? Poor kid. Of course, a shocking turn of events leaves you exiled from the only home you've ever known. Adrift on the wings of destiny. Blah, blah, blah. You've played RPGs. You know how this goes. Instead of a castle like the previous week it ends, this time you get a big boat to ride around in and customize as you gather the 108 stars of destiny to your side. You can have this. A wide variety of heroic faces populate your watertight crib. Mother of Pearl, what the hell is that? Destiny or no destiny, creepy anthropomorphic cats are bad luck at sea. <laughs> the battle system will be familiar to Suikoden players of titles past. Turn-based combat, up to four characters instead of six for some reason, runic magic, and the trademark character-specific combo attacks are all present. Let's go! <laughs> it's a fine way to whack some lobstrosities, but you may find it outstays its welcome. You spend a whole lot of time fighting random battles that just don't seem to have any purpose. Feel free to stop leveling up any time there. There's even an auto battle feature that lets you coast through easy fights. If they're so easy, I don't even have to bother playing them. 
Why do I have to bother playing them? Feels too much like busy work. A new naval battle system and a heavily improved one-on-one -on -one duel feature helps balance out the sky-high random battle quotient, but you'll still get tired of fighting endless waves of malicious seaweed. Yeah, seaweed. I wish that days like this could just go on forever. Speak for yourself. Suikoden 4 isn't bad per se, it just isn't particularly good. It's intensely adequate. The elements that you love from the rest of the series are here, but it's less than the sum of its parts. You're not gonna hit me? No physical violence. Just a 3 out of 5. <laughs> The big-eyed anthropomorphic cat is creepy, and it looks kind of like Blinks, the time-traveling cat. Just Blinks in his vacuum cleaner of time. Blinks! Well, the good news is that we don't have any more big-eyed cats in this episode. Yeah. The better news is that later we do have Star Wars Republic Commando. Can we use time-sweeping abilities to fast-forward to that? No, we need money for the commercials. Oh. Up next, Iron Phoenix. We can't figure out what's going on here either. I'm a hustler, honey. Good morning. Here's the new S car to basketball shoot. Michelle, can you see how much time is left in the game? Mm. Michelle? Introducing new Butterfinger Crisp, the first light crispy wafer candy bar with Butterfinger cream and crunchy bits. Michelle? So bold, so delicious. Michelle? Look at the screen. What? So dangerous. Michelle! Butterfinger Crisp from Nestle, a whole new way to break out of the ordinary. Also in minis. Is your name Dante? What did you hear that? From your brother. The prequel to the legendary Devil May Cry explodes with unrelenting action. Choose multiple fighting styles and become one hardcore demon slayer. Devil May Cry 3, Dante's Awakening, rated M for Mature. Sweet dreams. Do you play basketball? I got a beaver too. Want that number? Last Sprite. That's mine! Pigs in the blanket? Don't mind if I do. Back off, LeBron. Hey, dog. How's the burger? Good. Good. Wait, where you going? Mad dog! Mad dog! Show him my dog! Ah! You cheated. Did not. Did too. Did not. Enjoy computer and video games? Train now for a career in this $7 billion industry. That's right, Brown College is now offering career training in game design and development. At Brown College, you can train to take your ideas from concept to completion and beyond. With over 230 million video games sold last year, game makers need talented, trained people to create the next generation of games. Turn your dreams into reality with career training in game design and development. Call Brown College now. Classes are starting soon. Call 800-766-2010. That's 800-766-2010. You ever think you might have worms? If your computer is slowing down or crashing or just acting weird. E-acceleration with the full power of stop sign can make it like new again. Stop sign gives you virus protection second to none. With a spam blocker and spyware remover. Pop-up blocker. And the stop sign firewall for all the protection you'll ever need. Guaranteed. You may be infected and not even know it. Go to stopsign.com for a free virus scan now. You found the G-Spot. Icons is next. I'm pursuing other business opportunities besides Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. I'm an opportunity. Welcome back to X-Play. Later in the show, we check out Star Wars Republic Commando. But first, we have an online fighting game for the Xbox. Because those are always good, except for never. Here's a preview of Iron Phoenix. Now tell me, children, have I ever told you the tales of the Phoenix weapons? No, Master.
Hey kids, want to hear a story from an old guy with a beard? Don't worry, it's not a priest. X-Play has an exclusive preview of the latest and some say latest game for your Xbox Live. Iron Phoenix. Now, what kind of a name is Iron Phoenix? Simple. Take one part Aussie Iron Man Osborne and one part Arizona City and you've got Iron Phoenix. By the way, here's an X-Play fact. Middling comedian David Spade is from Phoenix. Chris Farley, however, is still dead. Let's get back to the game, and let's hope there's a long-winded narration describing the story. Legend tells of a faithful knight in ancient times. Blah, 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 blah. Here's all you need to know. Meteor hits Earth. Meteor shatters into nine pieces. Weapons are made out of these nine pieces. And whoever has all the weapons has all the power. Get it? Got it? Good. Now let's get to fighting. Let's go! With Iron Phoenix, it's all about the combat. That hacking and slashing combat we love oh so much. Yes, you have a number of characters to choose from. And yes, there are a number of environments for you to go OJ through. But it's really all about the brawls that almost end it all. I mean, look at this melee. What is this? A video game or the Vibe Awards? That joke was so 2004. Oh, 2004. Good times. Good times. Let's talk weapons. And let's do it in a long-winded narration with a questionable accent. The Ember Sword has always brought out the best in the warriors that hold it. E Talk about making a short story long. In Iron Phoenix, you'll still be able to unleash all your pent-up hostility with some smooth button mashing in such game modes as Deathmatch and Challenge Ring. Our favorite part of Iron Phoenix is Giant Kill, where, for a nice change of pace, you play as a big old giant who kind of looks like he may be doing steroids. A giant on steroids. That's just so ridiculous. Not funny at However, if the fighting gets too intense, you can get away from it all and take a little walk to collect your thoughts. Uh, I walk a lonely road. The only one that I have ever known. Don't know where it goes, but it's Iron Phoenix, and I walk alone. And don't forget to take the time to climb the giant turtle, and no, that's not even missing for something else. Or is it? What will take this game to the next level, whatever it is, is Xbox Live. Offline mode just doesn't cut it. It's more for practice than anything else. Maybe that'll change when the game comes out, but don't hold your breath. <laughs> Iron Phoenix. It's intimidating. It's maddening. It's frenzied. And it's coming soon. Iron Phoenix? I've never even been to Arizona. Uh, uh, uh. Speaking of making references that are so 2004, did Ozzy Osbourne just come out of nowhere? Everyone here is crazy except for me. Coming up, it's good to be a clone in Star Wars Republic Commando. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the SUV championships. Anybody can ride an SUV. Not everybody rides it right. He's pushing it too hard. Without respect for what they're capable of, it's easy to see why a lot of riders take the role. SUVs are big and powerful, and on top of one, you can feel almost invincible. Easy now, big fella. Keeping your SUV in off course. Look at that control! That's the idea, right? Ooh. So, how's business been, sir? You can't complain. Hmm? Oh, who would listen? Who would listen? <laughs> can't say I'll never rap again. You know, as a talent, you know, who am I? I'm just a, I'm a man. Anybody that made it successful from where I come from, they never came back. Sam, you ever bought a JV album? Oh, of course, sir. Open the door for the next generation the way it was open for me. Hey, Angie, you going to the post office? Hey, Ted, you going to the post office? Do I know you? Anyone go to the post office? Jeff. Ronnie. Connie. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't anyone going to the post office? Hey, Chuck. Can't go to the post office? Go to USPS.com. From buying stamps to shipping packages, almost anything you do at the post office, you can do at USPS.com. It's how the U.S. Postal Service is working for you. Hey, Steve! Lunch? Welcome to the most brutal time in history. There is no remorse, no compassion. Caesar has been murdered. Ancient Rome is in chaos. And a gladiator's greatest fight will be for the ultimate truth. Let's go! Uh, die! Shadow of Rome, exclusively for PlayStation 2. Rated M for Mature, only from Capcom.
prophecy made real. Sunday, March 20th, only on Animal Planet. Go to dragonsarecoming.com. In the future, there will be only Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. So the future would look like this. Welcome back to x -Blight. We're back with the most anticipated Star Wars game of the year. Nope, it's not the Episode 3 game, it's Republic Commando. The shooter that puts you in the white vinyl boots of a clone trooper and lets you shoot droids and hopefully Jar Jar. Please, let us shoot Jar Jar. It's been a long time since the first person shooter was set in the Star Wars universe, so much is riding on the white plastic shoulders of Republic Commando. Ooh. And here's our preview. As the release of the final Star Wars film creeps up on us, our thoughts lightly turn to game tie-ins. Star Wars Republic Commando puts you in the mass-produced boots of a clone trooper in the thick of the Clone Wars. All right, you're not just any trooper. You're an advanced recon commando, or ARC trooper. You're the commander of an elite squad of more independent than usual clones who perform the really dangerous missions, like infiltrating high security strongholds, commandeering enemy starships, or trying to convince Star Wars fans that Episode One wasn't all that terrible. Think Halo with Star Wars characters, and you're not far off. You have a life bar and an auto-recharging shield. Unlike Halo, your primary weapon handles just about every function you could want. The modular blaster rifle can be converted into a powerful grenade launcher. Or a hyper-accurate sniper rifle. You also have a simple blaster pistol for those emergency situations. Ah uh, yes, remember that bit about being the commander of a squad? Unlike Halo, you have full control over your companion's tactics. Order them to take up support positions. Anti-armor, mark that position. Go. Yes, sir. Or let them clear your path for you. Commence door breach. Commencing door breach maneuver. It's good to be the Clone King. Setting breach charge. As the first pure first-person shooter in the Star Wars universe since Dark Forces, Republic Commando has a lot to prove. Thankfully, it takes advantage of all the latest FPS tricks and technology. Ragdoll droids? Hours of entertainment. And the Metroid style inside the helmet view comes complete with laser wipers for those extra oily droid moments. You, back to now. Getting back to Heading for cover. Star Wars Republic Commando is obviously just the first wave of the Episode 3 video game onslaught. If they're all as promising as this one, it could be a welcome invasion indeed. This one's as dead as they get. Look for your chance to be a badass Django Fett knockoff this spring. Now, admittedly, that footage looks sort of generic. Aside from the episode 3 droids and the blaster fire, it could be any universe. But LucasArts promises you'll be fighting alongside Wookiees and other iconic Star Wars figures in later levels. Of course, that doesn't stop the Star Wars fans from having more questions for us. Today's viewer mail is from Darth Sarah. Ooh. She writes, Hey guys, I'm a huge Star Wars fan and I can't wait for Episode 3 to come out. However, I heard that the Episode 3 game is coming out before the movie and has major spoilers in it. If I play the game, will it ruin the movie for me? And is George Lucas crazy to spoil his own film? Lucas is crazy, like a fox. Yes, Darth Sarah, Star Wars Episode 3 Revenge of the Sith is coming out on May 5th two weeks before the movie is released. And it contains scenes from the film. So all the fanboys who can't wait for the movie will rush out to buy it. Usually movie games get overlooked, so on Lucas's part, it's a shrewd marketing move. You know, yes. there's also the, uh, there's a Lego game that's coming out. That's also, very that, exciting. That has some episode three in that. And don't overlook that. It's one of the most curious games I've seen in ages. Yeah, you know what, just wait. Wait two weeks for yeah. the game. Just, just play checkers. Or, or with your chess? Right fingers. Go for it. G4 Sports presents the Winter Extreme Special. Head to the slopes of Aspen for the X Games. Rock the crowd with supergroup Ozo Motley. And get up close and personal with teenage snowboard sensation Sean White. I just really want to come into this contest with some vengeance for the half pipe. Catch all the X Games action on the Winter Extreme Special, Sunday night at 10.30 Eastern, 7.30 Pacific. Brought to you by T-Mobile.